Hello and welcome to another Deck Tech on Xeno MTG. Today we're going to look at a cost effective version of Black Red Vampires. This deck is great because it's very effective in standard play and the changes I made to this deck allow it to maintain its effectiveness very well. There is no sideboard to this deck because this is an approximation of what one can do with this deck to minimize cost and retain effectiveness in standard play. The first creature here is the Pulse Tracker, and it's just great to get a 2 for an aggro deck like this one. Whenever he attacks, the opponent loses 1 life, and this really helps in the early game. Next up is Calastria Highborn. This is the most awesome card in the deck by far, in that it does damage, gains you life, and you can use it in tandem with all the other creatures in the deck to really change the direction of a match to your favor. Next, we have the Vampire Nighthawk, which is our first change to make the deck more cost effective. I'll just take a moment to point out that the deck I'm basing this deck on and the one I'm changing to make more cost effective is the same list Josh Herr piloted to a first place victory at the 2011 TCG Player TCQ in Walkerville on July 24th. The next creature is part of the removal package. It's the Gatekeeper of Malakir. Not much to say other than you shouldn't play him unless you're playing him kicked. He's a great way to get rid of other creatures that are hexproof, have shroud, or protection from black or red or are indestructible. The Vampire Lacerator is a great creature to have out on the field, but you have to be careful because you lose a life every turn unless your opponent has 10 or less life. The best idea with him is to get him out early, deal some early damage and then use him as a blocker for bigger creatures if his usefulness is dried up. He's also great to hold in your hand and play as a great addition to the field in the later stages of the game, especially when you have the opponent suffering. The next card is just great in this deck, and solves a lot of problems this deck has with its creatures, as well as pulling off some great combos. Viscera Seer allows you to get through the deck more quickly and find answers to tough matchups. He also allows you to set creatures you have that are targeted by abilities or spells, or blocked by larger creatures and get extra use out of them. My favorite use for him is sacking creatures in the late game, and using Calastria Highborn's ability to gain life and kill your enemy. This is great because it allows you to get through even the toughest defenses your opponents might have. As for the remaining spells, they are mainly just efficient removal. Our trail is great for taking creatures out in the beginning of the game, or against other weenie type aggro decks like Hawkward or Quest. This figure is also great for early game removal. It's nice and cheap, and the vast majority of creatures in standard are fairly cheap to cast with low power and toughness, so this works great against them. Doomblade and Go for the Throat are just standard removal spells, and efficient for larger creatures. Lightning Bolt is a classic, doing 3 damage for the cost of 1 mana, what more could you want? The land concentration is just 11 swamps, 4 mountains, and the black red mana fixers Black Cleave Cliffs and Dragon Skull Summit. Now the one thing I must mention is that this is the cost effective version of the deck, so it's by no means perfect or the best vampire deck. It is, however, a great vampire deck that won't crush your wallet, and it's fun as hell to play. Now, just for the reference, this deck is around $50 to $100 to put together, whereas the Josh Herr version I base this one on is about $150 to $200 to put together. The main difference is that Josh used four blood ghasts instead of the Nighthawks, which are great because they come back into play from the graveyard whenever a land enters the battlefield, which allows them to be used with Calastri and Viscera Seer, as well as the four Marsh Flats in Herr's version of the deck, which trigger the landfall ability more frequently and thin the deck well. Her's version also has the Manland Lava Claw Reaches for extra attackers, and its removal package is 3 Arc Trail, 3 Go for the Throat, 4 Lightning Bolt, and 4 Dismember. The Dismembers are great, but expensive to buy, and they give minus 5 minus 5 as opposed to the Disfigures minus 2 minus 2 that's in this deck. Thank you all for watching. This has been another Deck Tech on Xeno MTG. Have a good one.